Hi, this is Bronwyn from City Farmer TV and today we are making City Farmer Pressings grape juice. So we will start with our lovely grapes here at the garden. So we'll harvest some of them. And what you do is you put them in water, your grapes in water, for about an hour and let them sit so that any insect um, bodies will come floating to the top and you won't have them in your grape juice, which is fantastic not to have that extra protein. Then you take these grapes off of their stem and put them into a pot. And if you get any stems in there, no worries because we'll be straining this a little bit later. So with all your grapes, when you get all of them harvested, you start mashing these up because you want to release the juices. So you mash, mash, mash. You can mash with a potato masher if you want or if you have a larger quantity. And then what you do is you put your grapes on the stove for 15 minutes on medium heat and simmer. And your grapes should kind of look like this when they've been simmered so that they're releasing more juices and releasing their flavor. Then what we do with these grapes is you put them in a strainer and you put a weight, and a good weight is just to fill a baggie, Ziploc baggie, and um, with water and put it on top of the grapes so that it presses down and releases more juices. And what you do is you store this in the fridge or you store it on your counter, but make sure if you put it on your counter to cover it really well so that those nasty little fruit flies don't end up in the juice. So after your overnight pressing, you will end up with the first liquids of the grape juice. Now what you want to do with this liquid is you measure it off to see how much you have of it. So in our case we have about a cup. And then what you do is you have all these lovely grapes that still have juice in them. So what you're going to do is you're going to put them in a bowl and then since we had a cup of juice, we're going to put in the same amount of water into this bowl with the grape puree or squashings or pressings, whatever you like to call them. So I'll put a cup of water in there. And then you're going to stir this thing vigorously to try to get more juices out. And you're going to let it sit for a little bit, maybe 10 minutes. And then you're going to take another bowl and your strainer again. Ideally with um, grapes with seeds you want a finer mesh strainer but this is alright if you don't have a finer mesh strainer. And then you pour your second pressings into the strainer, put your weight on it again and let it sit for 10 to 20 minutes and make sure you cover it again or put it in the fridge. And then after that the, the leftover I'd call this grapey water, you add it to your grape juice, your pure grape juice, so that it kind of doubles in volume. And then either you can freeze it at this point and take it out as a special occasion. Um, my family, we take our grape juice out at Christmas and have special toasts with it, or you can drink it right away. So we'll have some. But you'll want to probably add a little bit of sweetener or sugar, and you can add two tablespoons to about a cup per cup of grape juice or however much your taste likes. I don't like things very sweet so just a little bit of sugar is great. And you can also add bubbly water or soda or ginger ale and it makes for a lovely drink. Cheers! That's really good grape juice. <laughs>